The war in Ukraine continues and our country's defenders have said they are moving to encircle approximately 3,000 Russian troops who are pinned down against a river in Russia's Kursk region. When Russia tried to prevent its troops from being surrounded between the Seam River and the Ukrainian border, the Ukrainian side used U.S.-supplied HIMARS missile systems and drones with explosives to strike pontoon crossings and bridge-building equipment, the Wall Street Journal writes, citing information from Ukrainian military. The publication found out that the Russian occupiers in the Seam River area are cut off from supply lines. Now that we have blown up three of their bridges, it is only a matter of time before this pocket closes for them, said the commander of the reconnaissance unit of the 14th Regiment of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, who has the call sign Kovat. Journalists added that the enemy is assembling pontoon bridges to cross the seam and our soldiers are destroying them with artillery. According to soldier Andre from the 44th Ukrainian Artillery Brigade, which uses Western-supplied M777 artillery guns, Russians often cross rivers in panic, and at that time the Ukrainian side is shelling them. The Russians are hastily crossing everyone they can, he added. Recall in early August, the Ukrainian armed forces launched an offensive operation in the Kursk region of Russia, liberating over 90 settlements and creating a military commandment's office. Analyst Julian Rocker of the German publication Bild wrote that after destroying the bridges across the Seam River in the Kursk region, the Ukrainian armed forces still have 2.6 kilometers to go to close the so-called cauldron for Russian troops in the Glushkovsky district. Earlier, Ukrainian troops blew up the stationary bridges across the Seam River in the north of the Glushkovsky district of the Kursk region. And although the physical encirclement of Russian troops here is not yet visible, Robka believes that this group could be cut off from supplies when the Ukrainian armed forces physically approach the Seam River, depriving the Russians of their last land corridor deep into the Kursk region. According to the latest data confirmed by geolocated photos and videos, the Ukrainian armed forces have captured the village of Vishnevka and reached the railway. Thus, the Ukrainian troops only have to go 2.6 kilometers to the Seam River to close this conventional cauldron. In order to continue supplying the group, the Russians are trying to create pontoon crossings. But as the analyst notes, the Ukrainian armed forces are tracking Russian bridge layers and equipment on the approaches to the river and destroying them with kamikaze drones. The destruction of all three bridges across the Seam River in the Kursk region could force Russian troops to repeat the Kherson scenario. This was stated in a commentary to Espresso by military expert, Director of Development of the Information and Consulting Company Defense Express, Valery Ryabik, commenting on the information that the Ukrainian armed forces could have hit the bridge in the area of the settlement of Kariz. I would like to remind you that before this, a bridge was destroyed in the Glushkovo area, in the Zvanoi area, and now there is a third bridge which completely blocks the enemy's base area, which is limited on four sides and, in fact, 
we can talk about a certain operational encirclement, he explained. According to the expert, control over the crossings will leave the Russian army without the ability to provide its own logistics. According to Ryabik, this area has an area of about 700 kilometers, which is already under remote control of Ukrainian troops. A situation is arising where the enemy will be forced to make a difficult decision for itself and gradually do the same thing it did in the Kherson region when it was forced to retreat beyond the Dnieper, the analyst noted. Recall last week, it became known about strikes on a bridge in the Russian village of Glushkovo. The very next day, the Russians announced that it had been destroyed. On August the 18th, the bridge near the village of Zvanoy came under attack and was significantly damaged. And on August the 19th, Russian war correspondents wrote about the destruction of the last bridge across the seam. As reported by Defense Express, with all three bridges in the area destroyed, Russia now has no major river crossings left. This leaves most of the Glushkovsky district trapped between the Ukrainian border and the Seam River effectively cut off. This area covers about 600 square kilometers, roughly the same size as the area currently controlled by Ukrainian forces in Russia. Russian mill bloggers are already claiming that the destruction of bridges isn't a major issue because they've set up pontoon crossings. Public satellite images confirm this, showing that the pontoon crossing near the Glushkovo was restored while building a pontoon crossing over the Seam River, which is 30 to 80 meters wide in this area, isn't difficult for the Russian army. Pontoon crossings have limited capacity, so the flow of traffic is much slower, Defense Express added.